What attracted you to Magic Numbers? I'll tell you what I love about Magic Numbers is, first of all, it's live. So anything can happen. And, you know, I don't know if you saw uh, Amanda Holden on the show. It was very clear that we didn't know that was going to happen. And this week we've got Louis Spence on the show. And, uh, yes, well, boy, if anything could happen, it certainly will with him. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I love that. Also, I love the variety of it. The thought that people at home genuinely can win a huge, life-changing amount of money just using their phone number. I just think it's a genius idea. Um, also, the team on the show, they come up with just really clever games and they really care for the show. So I think that's why it looks so good. It's why it seems really popular. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it at the moment. Amanda Holden appeared on last week's show, as we know. Do you stay in touch with the Britain's Got Talent judges after the show's finished? OK, do I stay in contact with the judges? I stay in contact with Amanda and I stay in contact with Piers. Um, but I, I don't hear from Simon. Um, I don't think many people do. <laughs> That's the interesting thing. Um, but no, I don't, I don't even have Simon's number. So, so Amanda and Piers, yes, I do, but Simon not. But it's weird, because when we all get back, it's like, you know, we've been in contact you know, every day of the year, because it's just like going back to school. Um, so yeah, Amanda and Piers, and of course, Anton Deck. Which guests will be appearing in the rest of the series? Well, because Magic Numbers is live, we can pick and choose who we would like on the following week's show. Um, but at the moment, I know for a fact we've got the Saturdays coming on. Emma Bunton's going to come on, uh, Alexandra Burke, Pixie Lot. Just really strong, good guests. Can you tell us more about the games on future episodes of Magic Numbers? Well, it's funny, right, because... The games that seem really popular with the studio audience seem to be popular with the viewers from, from the research that's been done. Like the, uh, there's a game where we always do, um, we take one of our guests and we pit them against other celebrities. Are you more popular? Are you less popular? Uh, have you got a bigger, bigger so, ego? Like Piers Morgan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, are you more butch or less butch? Um, and that seems to really get the studio audience going. And I know people do play it at home, so that's a really popular one. Um, we'll always have the memory game because again you could play along at home so we'll just change it about uh, one week with music one week uh, like this week it's uh, TV themes with Paddy McGuinness so he will have to try and remember as many as he can and of course to the amount that he does remember will be our magic number. Did you enjoy doing Britain's Got More Talent this year as much as previous years? I think um, the series where Diversity won was the ultimate so far because you had Susan Boyle. You know, lots of people still come up to me in the street and go, you know, I'm so pleased that Susan won. Well, she didn't win, she came second. And I think because you had diversity, flawless Susan, it, it was really strong. You know, this year was good, but I don't think it was as strong as last year. Would you ever consider hosting the main show if Anton Deck ever decided to move on? <laughs> If Anton Deck moved on, would I do ITV One's Britain's Got Talent? Um, yes, yes, I would, and uh, I think they're big shoes to fill. Well, there's four of them, um, but yeah, I would. I, I would give it a good go. Why not? It's a big show. It's great, and it's variety. Again, like Magic Numbers, it's just a show that all of the family can enjoy, and I think that's really important. Um, have you ever considered auditioning for Britain's Got Talent? Well, I'll let you into a secret, right? We um, came up with this idea to do a, a prosthetic sort of wind-up on the judges. So I would get made over and I'd go out and do a magic illusion. That was the idea. Um, but they were worried what would happen if we actually were put through to the next round. Because then you'd just have to go, oh, it's us. Yeah. Surprise. Um, so it was, sounded a good idea, but it never happened. Would I audition for it if I wasn't doing television now? Yes, I would. Um, I actually came from a talent show. Um, ITV used to do a show called The Big Big Talent Show, which was hosted with Jonathan Ross. And uh, from that got onto the Royal Variety Show. So that was a great vehicle for me. Um, and that's why I think anyone that does enter Britain's Got Talent really does stand a chance. So do you have any future projects coming up after Magic Numbers? Well, um, when we finish the series, I then go back to do Animals and Britain Does the Funniest Things. Um, and there's talk at the moment, there's like whispers of a magic show, but nothing has been confirmed. There's just meetings going on. So you never know, magic might come back to Saturday night.